Welcome to this short video on how to send or generate year-end tax receipts from Little Green Light. So here we are at the beginning of 2013 and probably you'd like to get out, if you haven't already, your year-end tax receipts for all the donors who gave in 2012 and Little Green Light makes that pretty simple. The first thing we'll want to do is to write our letter. Um, in this case we're using Microsoft Word to write the letter so that we can do have a nice header in there and maybe sidebar, possibly a footer if we'd want to do that. Um, but really the mechanics of how the text is written is um, the same no matter what format you use and you're you're going to end up with something like this which has you know the basic information at the top a salutation and then most critically this gifts 2012 list which will put a table into the letter that has a listing of each gift or donation um, in that a constituent made in 2012. Um, I'm not going to go into all the details of how you can build a letter using Little Green Light because that is something that would take too much time for today, but if you are interested in learning more about that process, I recommend that you take a look at the knowledge base, and we have a lot of great articles about how to build mailing templates, um, create the documents, and send mailings from Little Green Light. We also have a, an article that covers this year-end tax receipt scenario, um, so if you're somebody who likes to read rather than watch a video um, to learn about this, you can go ahead and do that here. Once we have our letter and we're happy with that, the next step is to go to constituents and query for the constituents who gave a donation in 2012. So to do that, we will search by gift dates and we will use the built-in last year parameter. This will pull up everybody in 2012 since we're now currently in 2013. You could also put in the particular dates. Uh, that's not a problem either, but we're going to use this approach. So if we do that query, we'll see that we come up with 37 results in this database. Uh, we probably also want to go ahead and filter by gift type because we don't really want anybody that didn't give either a, a monetary donation or an in-kind gift in 2012. So we go ahead and do that, hit search again, and that's going to give us a list of 35 constituents who gave an in-kind donation or a regular donation in 2012. Now the next step, since we have the constituents defined, is to click on this Send Mail button, which you can find in the upper right-hand corner, and then give your mailing a name. So we are going to choose 2012 year-end tax receipts. We're going to leave everything pretty much as is, except we will check off the labels option so that we can generate letters and labels, and then we'll hit Create Mailing. Now in this first step of the mailing setup process, we need to define the letter we're going to use. Here we're going to upload a new file, and we're going to browse for that file on our hard drive. It's the same year-end 2012 letter here. So we go ahead and stick that in there. Then we can hop over to labels and envelopes. Don't need to change anything there. Take a look at the recipients. That doesn't need to change either. And then we'll go to the final step and click the Save button. You can always go back and edit any of these pieces, so nothing is final here um, until you actually download and print the letters. Now here we're looking at the recipient list. We can also check out the summary, which just gives you an overview. You will note that like with all mailings in Little Green Light, the recipient count is based off of whatever exclusions you have. So we had a query for 35 constituents who gave in 2012, but only 16 of those are addressable given the exclusion criteria, which included ruling out anybody with an invalid address. So if we think that looks good, we can go ahead and click on um, Sample to, to grab a... This will just give us the first five letters, and that will show you what this mailing looks like when it's populated with data. And when we're ready to go ahead and download the full file, we can click on this download all button. If you do have a larger number of donors in, in your database, you probably do. Um, this is just the small test database. You'll see instead of download all, a generate all button, which will go ahead and generate the file behind the scenes, and then the download all button will appear. So you can click on this download all button to get all 16 letters. And then when you open that up, you can print it. So you can just go, go ahead and print on your local machine. And then you can do the same thing for the labels, download all, and that's going to produce a file that is 
in whichever label format you chose. And then once you're done, you can click this Mark Sent. That means that this is now a sent mailing. There'll be a record of that in every constituent's profile that you sent them their year-end tax statement. If they didn't get it for some reason or if they lose it and need it, need it again, you can always go to their record and print out uh, the one letter for them. Um, that's, that's totally possible. Um, but that's pretty much it. You have generated receipts for 2012 and you could do this again in 2013 with basically the same process. Thanks again for watching this video and please don't hesitate to let us know if you have any questions. You can give us a call at 877-820-6109 or email us at support at littlegreenlight.com. Thanks and have a wonderful 2013.